Welcome everyone, my name is Ryan and this is Kapasha Home. In this week's episode, I'm going to show you guys how I did our front garden bed, but not only did I do it once, I ended up doing it twice. So let's get started. First things first, we need to clear and prep everything so that way we have a good foundation for our new garden bed. As I clear the space for the garden bed, I also use the garden holes to shape out the foundation so that way when I'm clearing it, I knew exactly where I'm going to be laying down all the groundwork for this new garden bed. I got this terrace board from the Home Depot. It was a 5 inch by 40 feet long terrace board that I bought so that way I can use it as a borderline for my new garden bed. Now that the border is in place, it's time to put in some new soil. Okay, soil is all done. Now it's time for us to lay down the weed barrier and then put some holes and put some plants in and this is pretty much all wrapped up and ready to go. Actually no, this is still version 1. Just keep that in mind. After having to finish this very first version, we realized, my wife and I, it was missing something. So we ended up coming back and redoing it. Looking from the street view, you couldn't see all the work we had done. It was kind of a bit of a waste, but we just had to redo it. So I ended up buying some natural stones and cutting them up and raise the bed up tall and we did the whole thing all over. Now for version 2, we just wanted to keep it the way it looked right now, but just taller. So the key to this is using these limestones. The only issue with it is that they're so big and bulky and sometimes long to the point where they wouldn't curve where we wanted to curve. So naturally what I did, I got a chisel and a hammer and started cracking away. The way I did this is by using the chisel and hitting the same spot in the line so that way it would crack down the middle right where I wanted it, just like this. Now keep in mind, the key to this is hitting it in the same spot over and over. And bam, perfect, right down the middle. And there we have it as easy as that. Now it's time for me to get an arm workout and chisel the rest of these rocks and it'll be all ready for the garden bed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay these rocks down. I'm going to lay it out so I can find out exactly where I want to put them and exactly where I'm going to lay down the base layer for these rocks to sit on. Now what I'm going to do first is just move everything out of the way and then once I know exactly how I want to lay everything down, I'll know exactly how many I need and if any, maybe chisel some more so that way I can get them to the right size to make the foundation perfect so that way these rocks won't go anywhere. Now it's time to start digging the trench that I need to lay all the foundation down. If you're wondering why I'm not just laying the stones down, I want to put rocks down so that way it will act as a drainage to this garden bed. The sand I'm using is just there so that way it will be easier to tamp it down when I'm laying down the, the stones and I can easily level them compared to just having rocks as the base. Now that everything's laid down, it's time to start hand tapping. I didn't have a tamper that would fit perfectly, so I just made a makeshift 2x4 that would fit perfectly for this, and it worked well for what I needed. I got this at the orange store, which is your quick creek all purpose sand. Now that we got the sand all down, time to repeat what we did with the rocks and hand tap all the sand down. Now for the first rock. We gotta make sure it's nice and even. We'll do that by using the level. An easy way to keep track of the level is use a stick and a string. Tie up the string to the stick, follow the level of your first rock, Tie it off to another stick and build everything under the line. Now whichever part's too high, we'll just tap it down. And whichever part is too low, we'll just 
just add a little bit of sand and we'll make it nice and even. Although I'm using the string as a guide, I still want to check the level and make sure everything is nice and even. That way when I lay down the second layer, I can avoid any issues and I won't have to redo this all over. I'm not using any particular pattern to lay down the rocks, but I am trying to keep it where it's some longer stones and short stones. The good thing about line stones is you can crack it off however you want it, chisel them down, and shape this raised bed just the way you need to. As I went further along laying down the line zones, I started realizing that my log was sloping downwards. So what I did is I corrected this by using more limestones, but cutting it the long way in half, laying it down underneath my first layer, to leave the consistency of the level that I first started with, and to also give the effect that there is actually rock underneath the first layer. That way, when I build the second layer, It'll be nice and even, and won't have any issues. Now for the final part, laying down the masonry cement. I'm using white masonry cement. The consistency you want is more like a pancake kind of a consistency. If you flip your trowel over and it doesn't fall out, it's perfect and it's ready to go. So as we lay down the masonry cement, we just want to keep in mind, don't put too much to the point where it's just going to spill on over. We want only enough to sandwich the two rocks in between each other and give it a good even spacing throughout the whole layering. I also like to keep checking the level, that way I'm also consistent throughout the whole layer and it'll be all even by the time I get done. I have to admit, having to go back to it, I was a little bit hesitant to do that, but I'm glad that we did. The end result, it speaks for itself. Having to raise it up and add stones instead of leaving it on the floor, this garden bed looks like a whole new thing. It's a night and day difference compared to the very first version. So if anyone's willing to try this, I highly recommend you guys do this to your garden bed as soon as possible. It might not be stones like what we use. You might want to use bricks. You might want to use wood. Whatever medium that you want to use, having to upgrade it to make it into a raised garden bed, I highly, highly recommend you guys try it. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave it in the comments down below and I'll answer it. I'm always reading everything that you guys leave me. So I thank you for watching and I'll catch you later.